Sabres hosting the Canucks, and the Canucks are minus 146 on the money line. The Sabres are plus 122. The over-under, six and a half goals. The Canucks laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 152, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Sabres getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 184, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Yes, I know this is way early, but most of these teams don't play tomorrow. So it's a good way to get a jump on the odds, especially if they're advantageous to you. Now, it's supposed to be Demko and Levi. Neither goaltender has been confirmed for tomorrow's game as of yet. Head-to-head, -head, these teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The road team's on a three-game winning streak. The road team is 6-4. and four. The underdog is on a five-game winning streak. The underdog is 8-2 and two on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is a perfect 10-0. and 0. There have been five one goal games in their last 10 meetings. The over is seven and three and the over six and a half goals is six and four. They have not played each other yet this season. The Canucks are on, this is their sixth consecutive road game. They are on a four game winning streak. There was a total of 10 goals, nine goals, seven goals, and seven goals. Six goals on a win, six goals on a win, five goals on a win, four goals on a win. And this is the first game in three games that they've actually been a road favorite. For the Sabres, they are 3-1 and one in their last four. There was seven goals, four goals, seven goals, and eight goals. Six goals and a win, three goals and a win, two goals in a loss, and then five goals and a win. The Canucks have been playing exceptionally, and they've been scoring. It seems like the Sabres have been scoring as well. I think this game goes over just because the Canucks have been clicking offensively. I'm going to take the Canucks with the money line. I'll stay with the stats and take the Sabres getting the goals and I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.